Kelly Kittner. I'm here to talk to only the host. And only the host is someone I've known for a little while now. And we've talked music and we've talked other things. And uh, he has really started something interesting. And I'm I'm here today to talk to him about the projects that he's got going on. So uh, without further ado, uh, what is what is only the host? I have no idea at this point. I can tell you where it started and we can try to get there. I think that was the whole point of this thing is I am still trying to wrap my head around what it is too. It's a, it's a constantly evolving, constantly building, constantly growing thing. But initially it was just, it was just a music project that I started with. And one day I stumbled upon Twitter and it appears everything has changed since then. And here we are today with everything everyone sees. And we're still trying to figure out how we even got here. You know, I, I recognize the momentum that you had um, going with collecting other like-minded indie musicians, you know, and it kind of started to snowball. And it almost felt like it necessitated the fact that here we are, all these musicians hanging out together, it necessitates someone doing something uh, to, you know, cultivate that collective. So I, when it started, it was like, okay, well, I got to build a website. I got to make an email list. I got to have a way to market myself. I have a way to, get, to have to have a way to get people to listen to, these, to this music. So as I'm building these things and interacting with all these people, in these different communities, I just keep seeing all these little skills that I know how to do. And it's like, okay, well, they're not doing that. They're not doing that. They're not doing that. I'm trying to put it together. I'm like, how do I help these people? How do I help all these people who have these little knowledge gaps that could help them do these things? And so I was like, okay, well, let's do a blog. And I think that's really where you and I met was initially right. when I was like, okay, I'll tell people how to write a press kit. I know how to do that. I'll tell people how to uh, how to write a pitch. I know how to do that. I know some basics of mixing when I see these questions. I know how to do that. Then I met you. I interviewed you, saw that you had a blog. You wanted to talk about music. I was like, okay, well, I can do that too. And eventually there were a couple more people and it's just a series of, okay, I can do that. And now that it's all starting to come together under this banner, instead of having to teach everybody, okay, get your EPK together, make sure you're doing this on your social media so people have someone to connect to so that, you know, I think Brian Lambert just shared it the other day. It's it. This is like a party. And if you have a choice to go to a party where everybody's getting together every day in the afternoon and lifting each other up, and talking about awesome new music and the other party is going to listen to the people who are like nobody likes my music nobody's listening i only got four views yesterday and then over here we're like we have 10 views we got 10 views it's 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 incomparable there's a lot of passion and optimism in what we're doing and supporting each other yeah, well, that brings me to a couple of questions, too. So, okay, cat out of the bag, you started a label. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about that, what you can, what you know so far, um, and uh, uh, maybe what you're trying to do with it. The initial idea of the label was to do it on streaming so that we had a way to release our collaborative efforts together. Went pretty good. We have a whole Nirvana project on there. I'm sure I will have a link to it in the description when we post this. Uh, that turned into a nightmare because everyone's on a different distributor. Everybody's all over the place. Uh, hard to get everyone to work together and get everything released with the licenses. Well, we found out Bandcamp has an interesting feature that once you're pro and you invite someone they don't need to do anything they're just they just get a pro account they get to sit on the label 
there's a few caveats, caveats, where you have to give me access as the label owner to be able to add music to your account as any label would. That might make people uncomfortable. If they don't, they don't have to be on the label. It doesn't matter. You can still be on the community pages on the website, submit to the show. This whole thing at this point is me having one place to point when I'm talking about my band camp shows, when I'm talking about writing an article about something, it's like, you want to see them? They're right here on my label page. It allows more automation. It allows more flow. It allows me to put together one electronic press kit featuring all of these amazing artists that I can reach out to an immediate out outlet for. Like, why are we all doing this by ourselves? Why aren't we collectivizing this power that we have and, and just sharing it and using our human capital? So, yeah, it's only the label. That's That's all it is. It's a label. That's it. It's not some archaic, we're going to take your money and send you, we're going to promote this for you. We're going to give you a hundred thousand. No, we're a label that with even the logo, it's a label that we can put on each other's stuff and be like, we're part of this. So being a label gives you certain powers. Mm -hmm. Um, Tell us how you intend to help the typical artist who signs on. Okay. So first of all, I'm not going to help the typical artist that signs on. I'm not going to do anything. You're going to be on that page. You're just going to be added to everything we do as a consequence of it. If you want benefits from being on the label, jump on our discord. We make promotional videos for anybody in the community. You you drop your new release. You drop like your cover art. We blast this stuff out all over the place. We already do this as a community. Do you want feedback? Join the Discord. We're happy to go over your music, give you pointers, let you know. We're all trying to get better. And everything that we do that's going to promote the label is, is going to happen with my team on Discord. We're figuring it out there. We're building there. I can't, I don't have time and no one has time to reach out to every single individual artist. So when it comes to a promotion, we're all talking on discord and figuring out what we're going to do. We're all figuring out release dates on discord in the next coming weeks so that we can not be stepping out over each other. Like we have a show Monday through Friday. We can feature a new track every day. So what else do we need? We've got all the tools to do this. We just need more people. So, um, th given the cooperative nature, mm -hmm. uh, of this label, I mean, I can attest to it, you know, like I, I'm in discord, uh, full disclosure. Um, and, uh, it's just loaded with help. Loaded. Uh, yeah. loaded. It, it's a, it's a, it's, it's crazy. Everything's an extension of the community. This is more than just like only the host. It's like, yeah, it's a, it's, it's everybody. I, I, at this point, am a figurehead. I've got uh, Mario Marino doing so much of the work. Dila Green doing so much of the work, even behind the scene, even the show you're doing this show for, for us to just test a pilot. Well, well, maybe this is something we offer on the label. Maybe we can do interviews and clip those up too, because we have the tools to do it. But maybe we find somebody who knows how to make music videos and does it for fun as a hobby. And they just don't have the music to do it. We bring that together. We start pumping out music videos. Maybe you look at growing a YouTube channel and you're like, okay, so how am I going to get a thousand people to monetize my channel? Maybe you can't, but maybe all of us, Post music videos under the only the host channel. We're almost ready for super chats. Let's figure out some live content that we can use to, to support artists. You you want to let's do a freaking album launch rather than doing it on Bandcamp. Once we have I don't know a thousand people, we do an album launch. We have super chats. We sell. It's it. It's too much. It's almost too much to get out of my head. Hmm. Well, that sounds real interesting to think that, you know, I want, 
I want you to talk to someone just kind of getting into this or thinking about uh, labeling or thinking about only the host. I want you to talk about the importance of the indie music hunt. The indie music hunt is the purpose of everything that we do. I think Uh, it's where this thing turned into something different. We take submissions every day on Twitter. We try to give new artists priorities. Also, uh, yeah, I mean, I will uh, absolutely play my friends that show up in the chat because the chat room is what builds this thing. So you may see some people getting played more than others. That's because they're participating in the chat rooms all the time. They're probably on Discord. They're probably helping out. So I'm trying to do that. But every every day we have new musicians, at least half the show, or at least we try to. And I'm not there to say, hey, come join our label. I'm I'm there to say, look, if you get your music played, you'll get real people to hear it. And maybe you'll get some satisfaction from that. And if you come back and you feel satisfied from that and that makes you feel good, that's that's what we have. That's that's the offer. This is fun. This is beautiful. We're, we're making music. It's it's meant to be shared. It's meant to be listened to. And we do it every day. And without without doing that, none of this other stuff grows. None of the none of this other stuff came to be this. It's it's like going to a record store and go into the back room to open the new box of shipments and playing it with all your friends and all your friends are the musicians on those CDs. That's exactly what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a lost art. It's a lost thing. And just as a side note, even just some of the cool stuff, I know Tim Woodruff, he's a, he's a fantastic musician and he took the time to go through an entire thing of writing liner notes and story for his, for his album that came out and like there's no physical media anymore there's no book that comes with it so we put together a whole blog post about the whole story where you can listen read the story and it's like cool it's cool music stuff that's what we're doing (laughs) yeah what i feel is unique about the atmosphere of this label uh seems to be um you're fostering a lot of collaborative efforts. Absolutely. How else do you get better? Uh, <laughs> uh, I want you to talk a little bit about some of the collaborations you've seen uh, and been a part of. Uh, you know, I know we have the Nirvana thing. I know we have something else coming up that I don't know if it's been announced yet or not. You know, I, uh, I don't mind talking about it because it's super cool. And it wasn't even supposed to happen until January and it's already starting. So yeah, we've uh, got a we've we if you haven't checked it out, we've got the community doing a whole bunch of covers and we're on the last phase of them right now. A bunch of takes of Nirvana songs by a bunch of different types of bands. We go all over from jazz to electronic to synth wave takes on them. All unique. We're not trying to sound like Nirvana. We're trying to take old songs and go, oh, what can we do with these 20 years later? Same concept is happening right now with the uh, with the monkeys cover project. wasn't supposed the to happen until <laughs> wasn't supposed to happen until January, and people are already making it. I've got. I know that you've got one. I'm not going to say what it is. I know that Uncle Funk Beard and myself are already working on one. Um, who else is a truck dogs in that one? I know that I've even got separate projects for like. Uh, collabs that are with a bunch of different people that are original music that are slated to come out once this Nirvana project is done. And it's music I would have never played before. It's I played a I played drums for a jazz cover of Nirvana and I've never played drums to jazz before. So huge amount of learning. It's got me wanting to play more jazz. It's got me exploring different types of music that I wouldn't have explored. If I hadn't met you, I probably never would have listened to a country well, you call yourself country. I feel like you, you've got this punk rock roots behind mm-hmm. the country that you sing. And, and it's like, listen, to, it reminds me of like when I would listen to Johnny Cash with my dad or something like raw, you know, it, real, emotional, not not just cliched. So now I've explored all kinds of different, I guess, country acts for it. And I'm writing better music, different music than I've ever written 
and working with better artists and smarter people than I've ever met in my life. The positive thing about all everything you just said to me is that it gives the label an upward mobility. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, we've got excellent mixers over here and excellent singers over here and excellent guitar players over here and excellent drummers over here. And if we get them all together on the same track, then, you know, the potentiality for something actually happening is is greater. And just think of it this way. Say, say you're a, you're a musician, but that's probably not your full-time job. If you're doing this, you probably don't have a whole lot of budget. Now imagine you just have friends that can give you a professional quality mix. If mixing isn't your thing. And it's like, okay, well I'll mix, just put me on, put me on for 10% when you, when you uh, release this to distribution and, you know, I'll, I'll take my part on the back end, you know, and, and then you have access to all these tools and all this skill that you may not have had before. And it's just like, it's just back to what people have always done is trade their skills with each other to do better. Right. Right. Instead of learning everything all by yourself. Mm hmm. Yeah. Not only is learning everything all by yourself daunting, it's really lonely. And here it seems like we're learning stuff together and making friends. And, uh, you know, I, I just really got to commend you on the positive vibe. Uh, you know, cause I'm not a positive person to be frank. I, a I, lot of musicians aren't, uh, you know, I don't, I don't wear a smile as a resting face yeah, at all. And, uh, uh, but how do you feel when someone's saying something good about your song on the indie music on? Especially and <laughs> especially when I like their song too. Mm -hmm. it, it makes me, hey, I like your music. You like my music. Let's make some music. Mm. Uh, it always it always happens. It's always happened with me uh, personally, uh, but now it's happening just like all around me. It seems like you know. Uh, so I want to ask you though. I mean. How does it feel to be the catalyst for this whole thing? Because I never would have jumped into this if I hadn't met you. Oh, uh, don't blame me, man. Your <laughs> your collaborations album, when I came across that on Twitter, it was like, that's what I've been looking for. Uh, that's how, that's how. I saw uh, that. I interviewed you about that. It's such a big part of this thing was, was the fact that you had already done what you did. So, you know, laying groundwork. Well, collaborations for those that don't know is a, the Kintner's album. Uh, and we took 23 musicians across Twitter uh, and spent 13 months making an album of 10 songs that my wife and I wrote. Um, and one of them we wrote with a uh, platinum mind, but um, the rest of them, we, me and my wife wrote by ourselves. And then, then we got musicians to a company and it came out sounding really good. I thought, uh, it came out. I was really happy with how it came out. Uh, you should be. I've listened to that album through quite a few times and that's a hard thing for me to accomplish, uh, with the amount of indie music that I have to listen to at this point. So that's, well, I, I really appreciate that very much. I, that album has a special place in my heart just because of the relationships that were forged and the music. It's so much made. bigger than just writing an album by yourself, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we all can't get out and tour together anymore. So what can we do together? Eh, we can write, we can mess around on Twitter. We can make videos that people enjoy playing and we can still be really talented people behind that. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. And, and I, I feel like, your label actually has something to offer. Uh, not just being part uh, uh, when you buy something, mm. but it's also being part when you join the Indie Music Hunt uh, live stream every day at one thirty Central. Uh, or uh, when you get on the Discord, um, there is a community surrounded and concerned about music. Mm -hmm. And... and uh, and it's open. It's not a click. 
you know? No. And so, uh, I would encourage if you see this, uh, you know, maybe just check YouTube only the host one thirty PM central, uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, that's kind of how I got really into the whole only the host thing. Um, it's crazy, right? Yeah. You have your own lingo, you have your own game. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's it's a language. It's memes. We've got we've even got a we've got a five hundred dollar Storm of Crows nothing pedal featured on our indie shop. It's a it's a custom boutique pedal because he made a joke and I really wanted to carry a custom boutique pedal. So it 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 it's all fun. It's just and you know when when this takes off and I have I have no doubts that it's going to just get bigger at this point. And that's not the brag. It's just because it's the happiness spreads. And there's a lot of happy people doing a lot of really good things in this. And whether that's me as only the host.com getting bigger, the, the live stream, or just one of these artists or these collabs breaking out. It's all the same to me. It's, it feels like a huge accomplishment. If, if, if anyone around me does good, I, I'm celebrating and I think everyone's let a lot of their jealousy go because we're really proud of each other and we just want to see each other do good things. I, I, uh, I love that. I love that. And I think on that note, uh, you know, we can say adieu uh, until the next time. I think this is a good pilot. And I actually think this might be a good format to keep people up to date and what's going on is just, uh, you know, only the show. Yeah, only the show. I love it. Episode one. Episode in one in the books. Right, let's... <laughs> Thanks so much, Kelly. I you, you took that really serious and professional. Uh, I'm always serious. Yeah, no, you, you're really good at this, man. I listened to some of your podcast. I was really curious about how this was going to come across. I enjoyed it. Lift out of body. Reach towards the unknown A revelation is waiting